Hi there, thank you so much for your interest in my Virtual Classroom Centers template. In this video, I am going to give an overview of the product and I will also show you how to easily customize this product to fit your classroom needs. So starting off, this is a Google Slides product. So when you purchase this product, it will be added to your Google Drive and you will open the product from your drive. In this product, I have included a variety of classroom scenes comprised of learning centers that I would typically incorporate in my own kindergarten classroom. So this product is great for the kindergarten grade level. It would also be wonderful for preschool. And I feel like a lot of it would also apply to a first grade setting. One thing that's important to point out right off the bat is these images that I have included are not editable. So they are just simply a background for you to customize using your own images. So you can see if I try to move the images around, you're not able to, they're not able to be deleted. Um, these are just a nice, simple background for you to go ahead and build upon to fit your classroom needs. So I have provided a lot of empty space. As we go through the slides, you'll see there's a lot of space for you to add your own images for your students. And um, the idea for implementation of this product is for you to insert your own images, which you can then link out to educational games or videos or songs, or even to um, insert your own instructional videos with assignments that you want your students to complete. So let's take a look at the different scenes that I've built. We've got a reading center, a math center, science, computers, art, building center, a dramatic play area, and a game center. So there's a total of eight different centers for you to customize. So let's talk about how we do that. So going back to the reading center, for my, um, my vision of this center is for teachers to go ahead and add their own images of books that they would like their students to read. And then we can link those books out to YouTube videos that they can click on the book and go right to the video and listen to the story. So I went ahead and went to Google and I found, I just did a search of Chicka Chicka Boom Boom and I found this image of the book cover. I went ahead and copy and pasted it into my Google Slides presentation. And now I'm just gonna drag it over and place it on the floating shelf. So the next step is to go ahead and link this book, this book image. So I'm gonna click on the image. I'm going to go up to the paper clip where it says insert link, click that. And then in the box, I am going to paste the web address of the YouTube video of this story that I want my students to watch. I'm going to click apply. And that is all there is to it. Super simple, super quick. So now when your students come into this virtual center, they can click on the image, click on the link that pops up, and they will be able to go right to YouTube and listen to the story. Let's talk about adding images directly within the presentation. Let's go to the Art Center. And let's say that we want to add an image of a glue bottle. Maybe you want to link the glue bottle out to a song or a video or maybe um, even a game if you've got like an art game that you want students to play online. So to do that, we're going to go up to Insert, go to Image. And I'm going to go to search the web. If you already have a glue bottle image on your computer that you want to use, you would just do upload from computer. So search the web and you will see the sidebar pops up. In the search box, I'm just going to type in the words glue bottle clip art. And then I always add the word transparent. That means that the, the clip art image will not have a white background. It just looks a lot cleaner. So I am going to go ahead and just pick this first image that popped up. That one looks really cute. I'm going to click it, click insert, and I'm just going to resize the image pretty small so that it can fit on my shelf. And then after that, I would go ahead and just do the same exact thing we did for the book. So we would click on the paper clip and then paste the link and click apply. So I hope that this gave you a better idea of this product and how you could implement it in your own classroom. And I encourage you to follow me on my Teachers Pay Teachers store and also on YouTube for more instructional videos. Thank you so much.